To find the oxidation numbers for each element in KCN, potassium cyanide, we'll use these rules here. First rule is that this is a neutral compound because there's not a plus or a minus sign up here. If we have a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers are going to add up to zero. So that's something to keep in mind. We also can see as we go down, group one, potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table, that has a plus one oxidation number. CN, that's the cyanide ion. And when we have ions, the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. For the cyanide ion, the CN, that turns out to be minus one. So we can see the plus one and the minus one. We add those up and we have zero. So that makes sense. If we want to look at just the cyanide ion, it's a little bit more complicated. Let's do that. So we don't see carbon or nitrogen here in our list of rules. This is an exception, and they have a very special rule just for this type of situation. The rule says that the more electronegative element in this compound here, that's going to be given the number that's equal to its charge if it were an ion. So nitrogen is more electronegative. And if we look at the charge for nitrogen on the periodic table, that's 3 minus. So we're going to put this minus 3 up here for the oxidation number of nitrogen. And remember, we said the whole thing, this whole cyanide, has a minus 1 oxidation number. We don't know what the carbon is. So we could say x minus 3 equals minus 1. We could add 3 to each side. That would cancel these out. X would equal a plus 2. So the oxidation number on the carbon here, that's going to be plus 2. So now we know the oxidation number on the carbon. And this makes sense because the charge on the ion, it's 1 minus. So we have 2 and minus 3. That equals 1 minus. So that's OK. We go back to our potassium, which is plus 1. And remember, everything adds up to zero. So one plus two is three, minus three, that gives us zero. So these are the oxidation numbers for each element in KCN. A little bit more involved for this one. We had to invoke a special rule here, but that's how it works. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.